Oh, g'day, yeah, just wanted to talk about uh, gold pins and uh, taking them from uh, different um, plugs from PCs and electronic equipment. So I uh, thought I'd start off with these, the, probably one of the most common gold pins are, um, oops, are these little, uh, little double-sided um, plugs that you get uh, in PCs. You know, there's about 10 different plugs um, in PCs and computer equipment that are the most common. Uh, so I'll go quickly go over the 10 different plugs um, and um, and probably open one, you know, each one of them up just to have a look how to how I get the pins out. Okay, so start off with these ones. I'll just take a, a random, take a nice blue one. Yeah, uh, with these ones, uh, what I normally do is I cut the end where the, the copper wire comes in. Okay, so, because um, the, the gold plating goes through, but it, it hits a point where it's no longer gold plating. So, I'll just um, usually just snip snip a little bit off the, the, the back. And that kind of exposes the pins. Um... It's a little bit fiddly these ones there's a couple of them that are quite fiddly um, and a couple of them that are quite difficult you know so these particular pins whilst there's so many of them you know it does take patience to to get these pins out uh, that and the plating is pretty good on these so just pull them out like that find uh, one of the easiest um, one of the easiest things to use is just a nail cutter. Uh, um, if you don't squeeze too hard, they kind of come out pretty easy. But uh, this one's being a bit of a bit orkies. But you sort of get the idea. Uh, if anyone's got a better way of getting these particular pins out, uh, I'd like to know about it. I was thinking about, you know... Um, probably, you know, w one way would be to, to mince them up and, you know, shred the whole pin and then, and then process, uh, the f shred the whole plug, I mean, and, uh, process, you know, all the pins, you know, mixed in with plastic. Okay, so that's that, emptied that little plug. Give you a view. Okay, so... There's our little pins from from one of these plugs, and so yeah, th these these ones are, are are quite good because they're they're plated all over, top, bottom, side. So small. Now, if you go to sell your plugs, generally people sell their their plugs um, all mixed. So you know these ones. And you can, and these ones, you mix these two together. There's a, you know, there's a totally different value there. You know, um, I don't know what you know. Most e-waste buyers buy plugs for. I think it's somewhere. You know, commercial e-waste buyers pay. I think you know in Australia about forty-five cents a kilo. Doesn't matter whether you give them these or these. And so, you know, I reckon you get a lot more gold in one kilo of these than you would with these ones. So. So just keep that in mind if you're um, going to going to be um, you know selling these plugs instead of uh, um, processing. Not some are worth probably even selling. Some uh, are not, depending on the difficulty. These these plugs here they're from um, a lot of mostly uh, power supply units. You get you'll get the plug with this end. It's only the black ones, right? The black ones usually they will have a P1, P2, P3, but it's there's also um, you know like obviously that one that's not not gold obviously um, that side all these white ones they're not gold, um, but not all power supply units have these plugs. Like you see this power supply unit here, it. Um, all the plugs so the p2 in this case is like that 
where in a lot of more modern PCs, the P2 is like this. So this is the only one's gold. No gold, just these. All right. So what I do, you know, I first um, cut them off the wire like that. And then I do the same thing with these as I did with the other ones. I, I cut from this side and just uh, and try and cut, cut the, uh, the insulator wire off the pins. And usually breaks it up. Well, in this case, so, so that's quite easy. And you've got the pins that come out quite easily. And um, the only thing, okay, so the only thing now is you got to, uh, you know, before you process them, obviously you want to take off, you want to take off all the, the, uh, the pieces of copper wire. And, um, I'm going to, you know, a lot of these are fiddly and they take time to get used to um, doing it. Uh, so you got to do, you know, you want to do a few hundred before you actually really get skilled at it. Um, obviously, I haven't done that many because I'm still not in um, processing mode. I'm I'm just accumulating. But that's the last one. But so yeah, so they're the pins, and again, you, uh, the gold goes all the way up to here, and then it it's not gold, so you can just cut that off. There's your pins. These um, SATA cable plugs. Um, you got your SATA cable. Um, usually get a couple of these in every PC or in a lot of PCs these days. Two SATA cables running through, so you'll get four plugs. Yeah, so with these, all I do is just uh, cut from the top instead of cutting at the bottom like with the other ones. Um, so just. Uh, a little bit a little bit before the uh, the the little ridge cuts that off okay there's your pins okay uh, SATA plugs not as much as you would expect, um, but still okay. Video plugs, very common, um, although they're, they're, they're kind of finishing up these, these days and they're going with um, the new style, right? We'll get to these next. So yeah, they, these blue ones are, are very common, but I find them, you know, hard to get the whole pin out of these ones because they're stuck. So just the, the basic cut out the, pull out the, the steel plate, if I can. Okay. All right. So we've got the gold pins, but getting them from here is very hard because uh, in other older sort of s systems like this, um, you can actually take the whole thing out of this plastic, but these ones don't really do it that often. So um, I've tried different ways. I'm thinking my is uh, somehow getting something fine, a cutter, uh, like a little, a, a, a something with a little wheel on, on the end of a drill or something, a really fine cutter and, zoop, and cutting right at the end somehow. Um, because trying to do it like this, uh, it's pretty hard even if I get something with a bit of a grip like just pliers rather than cutters. It's very hard to um, very hard, very hard to get these out. So I don't I don't really I don't really like these um, because of that um, uh, hand processing is pretty hard. Um, however the e-waste refiners do it, the recyclers, they might mince up this whole thing, I don't know, but I've still got a, these are another project to to work on. Uh, having said that, the new style, which um, is a blessing, <laughs> um, these new style video plugs are a lot easier to process. Okay, so same thing, you take out the, take off this little thing, which these even come out easier. So obviously the manufacturers of new style plugs have taken scrappers in mind, making life a bit easier for us. So, 
Um, so you can see these these pins are really really good pins, really nice gold pins, and uh, I can. And these are really easy. These just pull out. All right, there you go. Quite easy. And the rest, well, slowly pull them out. But in this case, this whole this whole thing can come out where the other ones don't. And uh, if you, oops. You've got a bit of glue on the, the underneath, so you've taken the pin out of the plug. Um, so if you cut this, cut your copper wire and the glue right onto those pins, and you release, you release the pins. So you can throw this in your copper wire. clean pins ah. oh, well I'll have to do it like this this is the like the common sense approach but I just never get around to doing enough of them so you kind of pull them up as best you can. They really do pop out like that, see? That's a nice clean extraction. So that's what you want. You just go along. Grab and extract. Okay, so you get the idea. So that's off these video cable plugs here. Um, they're, they're pretty good value. You're going to start seeing a lot of them. Um, eventually, the blue ones will, will vanish and you know, these ones will be gone. And it's all going to be these, these style with this kind of plug. Nice pins. Pretty good quality pins. Um, Yep, they're plated. They're plated both sides, and it runs up about halfway. So they're pretty good, pretty good pins. So um, for future scrapping, um, as far as these pins are concerned, these video pins, it's good, good news. Okay, uh, all right. Might as well do these. Everyone's seen these cables, ribbon wire. Um, these vary a lot too. Um, you got the plugs, um, mostly black, blues, greys, greens, reds, but um, they vary a lot in their um, intensity of gold, and um, and it doesn't matter whether it's a it's a good quality ribbon or a cheaper one, a cheaper brand. Um, the gold can vary uh, sometimes something that looks very average um, you know like this Asus one I know these ones are, are, are good pretty good gold plating um, these gigabytes not so good these sometimes can be really good sometimes can be really really poor um, quick example Okay, so a couple stuck on the, you can see that gold plating, very heavy. Okay. What I do with these plugs, okay, so what I do is I just use the nail cutters. So you don't have to, you know, do one at a time. Just go for it. Get a good grip. Bang.
don't know. So these are quite, um, they're very common. You're gonna build up a lot of them, but they're actually very enjoyable, uh, quite therapeutic scrapping um, these plugs. Um, can sit there and spend an hour of spare time. It's quite enjoyable. And um, in this case, quite uh, amazingly good uh, gold plating. Okay, that's from them plugs there. All right. The other variation of them plugs is the bigger plugs. You get the same deal they can be on on ribbon wire big plugs okay comparison big plug small plug okay. big plug okay this is already ready to go this is how I prefer to um, prepare mine before I pluck but yeah so these are just again these are very easy. Okay. So yeah, it's uh, quite fun. Um, if you've got nothing better to do, you know, um, the last thing you do want to do though is build up, build up your plugs till there's so many that this job will just take you like a year. Um, so you, you don't want to, you know, build up till you get hundreds of each plug to, um, before you start pulling out your gold pin. Okay. So they these are one sided. No, no, they might be two sided. But, um, yeah, so there's not much, not much plating on this one. They probably vary. But, uh, you know, like this one here, you can see it's a much, much higher quality plating. So, oh. Don't really want to get into it now but um yeah so they do vary and, and that goes with every plug so um you know you might keep that in mind when you're um selling that that not all your plugs are going to be really good value like especially these um i, I showed you those nice those nice yellow gold plated ones well we'll just pick up a random one and I can get some out. Okay. Well, in this case, these ones are um, pretty good too. Uh, I keep I forget to. A lot of these can have this center plate, and until you get that center plate out, you're not going to um, you're not going to um, be able to get to the rest. So there's no plating on these center plates. They're just uh, they're just a center plate. Now I can get me bloody pins. All right, nice and easy. So yeah. Rainy day when you've got nothing better to do. You can just sit there and pluck away at these and uh, see how many you can do in one hour. <laughs> and... There you go, clean plug. Yeah, I'm just trying to get them all in one spot. All right, so there you go. So they, these ones are actually quite quite good. Um, you know, decent um, decent plating going up the legs. Nothing on the backs, but up the legs. And they're both sides, so these ones are actually good. I was expecting to show you a random one, and it's going to be really crappy. 
but anyway so that's how we get these plugs out just simply nail, nail cutters and just pull them out too easy can do this all day I could easy free gold there you go all right okay next uh, we've just about done them all oh ones I don't really like are um, are USB plugs okay USB plugs have got very nice pins a little bit more fiddly to get to um, all I do is just give it a bit of a prompt and then just all I want to do is just fold over this two pieces of steel one okay two okay so USB four pins USB four pins. Oh. Oh. Ah. Wow. As you can see the, the gold plating ends and then the silvery parts just the tin uh, starts so we can just cut there. No gold left. Full gold pins. Left, it's these old the uh, printer kind of serial port plugs or whatever they are. There's two two kind of styles. Okay, so you got you got plastic and you got hard plastic, heavy, not so heavy. These weigh about 20 grams. These weigh about 70 grams. So you know, at least three times the weight of these. So when you go to sell these, if you do sell plugs, sell these ones because they weigh three times as much. These light ones, might as well just take out the gold pins and just sell the pins if you don't process your own. But uh, they've just got a little clip on each side. Okay. That's it. Um, what we need, just use my trusty multi grips. Right. Steel. Okay, so got a nice pins. We'll just pull them out of here. Uh, what can we try? Nail cutters. Okay, so these ones are very easy. They come out of these plugs, very light. So they're worth kind of scrapping rather than selling them. You're not gonna get very good value for them. Right, so that's plugs. Then you've got circuit boards. Um, obviously a, a floppy drive, you got pins. Okay, the, the subject is pins. <laughs> um, yeah, so there's floppy drives if you still get them 
Um, the circuit boards, let me show you here. So they're not much. The circuit boards aren't 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 much on the, on the floppy brown. Nothing. I mean, maybe you can have that. But uh, yeah, so they got little gold plugs, and uh, they got really good 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 pins. Pretty good pins on on you most of them usually. Um, DVD boards, DVD drives. Got a DVD board. There you got your gold pins uh, from there all along there. Okay. The way I process these is not um, by breaking them off. Um, if you just run a heat gun over this solder, and they should just pop off. Um, so treat them more like circuit boards. Uh, other kinds, you got pins, are uh, these little boards, these, um, um, you know, those multi-slot bloody boards. You got, you know, pins there, probably some pins under there. Things like this. Um, uh, can't remember what they were, but um, they come quite a bit. Maybe out of printer. I think it was out of a printer. But these ones I like because they've got these little round things. Um, another variation are these ones with the the um, the sharp pins. So I can just get into one these you do over a, a, a little bucket or something because they they fall apart as you can see pins in there if you can see there they're not actually pins, they're, well, there is a pin and then there's a spring. So, it's like little springs. Yeah. So little springs, gold plated. Alright. And that was just from one one of these plugs every one of them and that's also a bit of gold plating so you could also process this board as a low grade gold plated board at the end so, yeah. so that's them so um, so just one board gives you a good good little boost to your um, pin bucket and if you, you find a lot of these um, you know these these are good good heavy heavy grade plating everywhere yeah you know and it doesn't take long to build up a nice collection of these with with um the, those boards uh, yeah so the next board I wanted to show was these kind of boards so I'll get rid of I've got a bucket I'm just throwing the pins in. But um, yeah, the other ones are these these sharp ones, pointy ones. And they're cool too. Yeah. All right, the nice pins. As you can see, only half halfway down, so you can cut. Anywhere there. Yeah. There you get the picture. Right. So 
got another good little source of of gold pins. And, you know they come you know all different kinds of variations but the um, obviously CPUs are another form of pins these um, not not all CPUs get processed for the pins um, for instance a, a, a ceramic CPU with pins you don't take the pins off you process this whole thing you just smash it all up and process this whole thing another ceramic same thing we don't take the pins off these we process the whole thing we just crush up the ceramic um, but uh, other things like the th three fibers the green brown and black fiber we can remove we remove these pins with a heat gun okay you've probably seen it where people put a heat gun and they come off I'll show these ones will probably remove from the heatsink and then process them just like we would these fiber boards. Uh, uh, motherboards um, and the different ver the pins are going to be all, all all your pins are in in these plugs here. You got pins underneath the CPU mount. You got pins in these RAM slots gold pins here in fact gold pins running all the way around all right. gold pins and then we got gold pins in these N not these and not these board this is an old server board let me just get some so you got the the two old Pentium three slots with the slot cards um, instead of CPUs. They do a slot CPU. Uh, so you got gold pins here, gold pins in the memory in the slot card slots. You got gold pins all the way along here. Um, where else? Gold pins here. So in a server, a lot more, a lot more gold. You can see gold pins. So a lot of these, I um, what I'll do is I'll remove these these slots and uh, expose the gold, and then get a heat gun, and I'll I'll heat up these these um, soldered parts, and that way the gold pins will just fall out. Now. But first, I like to remove these plugs in most of them, right? So and that's pretty easy. Just a quick, quick example. You've probably done it yourself already. Um, it's, it's basic. They basically pull up, pull up off your, um, off the pins. They come up clean usually, except for these. They usually always have these ones going the other way around. But anyway, we'll do that. So. So there you go. So you all those gold pins now. It's very hard to remove these pins with side cutters or you know something like that. Very hard because you, you're going to miss a lot of the gold plating on these pins. So it's always it's best to heat up heat up the solder and then the pins will just fall out. Yeah. Um, now here's another blue motherboard. Um, so to give you an example. So you've got the green, the blue, um, different, it's cheaper, you know, you steel, um, less of these, um, not much of them. So it's, it's a lower quality board. So if you're tossing up on, you know, whether you should refine or sell, if, you know, if you can get good money for your motherboards, I would sell the colored ones if you're getting good money. But some places they recognize that they're low quality and they'll pay less for them anyway but if you can get um, normal money for your blue yellow red motherboards sell them scrap these ones don't sell these ones um, or unless you're going to get really good value but uh, yeah um, another example is server boards 
Yep, it'll get up. Server boards uh, vary a lot. This is uh, a, a basic coin of slot sort of um, board. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of blank, a lot of blank spaces. So it's not always worth scrapping every board. Some boards are just worth selling as they are, like a server board. Um, you know, is is you know higher grade than a motherboard. So you know, you get reasonable money for them, but they don't weigh much because they are blank. And there's not much to take off there's also not much to sell because this this these are giant like these are 13 inches long and and like eight inches um tall and uh but there's really not much like here at the end okay you got different different kind of plugs so you got some gold pins there a little bit in there these little switches they probably have a little bit of silver gold pins along there but not much else in gold except for these plugs which are my favorite plugs they can be continuous as you can you might yeah sorry yeah these plugs here these are about the best best plugs oh, my favorite plugs because i just like pulling them apart yeah as i said they can be continuous or they can just modulate them you know put them in modules how, how big you want them um because uh um yeah, so every plug has got a little, it's like a little slot card in every plug. They're like slot cards and they slot up. So, two, four, six, eight, ten. So there's ten, ten slot cards in this little plug. Uh, in this one, there's probably twenty. Um, so, yeah. Uh, and there's two pins in every plug. Oh, it's kind of like double-sided. I'll show you. I'll get into one. Um, Okay. Here's another example of a, of a server board, and um, it's the same kind of deal. Uh, you got the little little plugs here, little clips, so it slots in that way, it slots down, and slots into the junction here. So all these is all continuous little 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 pins, gold pins, the little slot cards. Um, I'll try I'll try one and give you an example. So they're really cool. My favorite plugs, server boards. You just grab a grab a junction, a little section, and just take it off. Leaves you with nothing on there. Nice and clean. Clean. Clean pull. Okay. Now you can see the little metal. The little metal piece well each one is a slot card right they slot in so i can get one okay so they slot in see the pins right. that's your pins turn them around plastic and so there's there's two pins I'll fold fold over and you can see the second pins yeah beautiful so there's nothing else here it's empty nothing here just plastic So you got gold pins, and these ones are the full gold pins. Right. And that's on every one of them. And so every slot, and the slot goes into there. Pretty cool, eh? So there's lots of gold in the servers pins. Um, but you know, um, as I said, you can weigh up whether they're worth scrapping or selling complete. But I think they're still worth sell, um, scrapping because if you add them, weigh them up, you'll see how much you actually get for an individual one, and you'll think, well, hang on, you know, because I can guarantee you probably only get about two bucks, 
you know, maybe three dollars for this at best. Yeah, probably about three dollars. Um, I have more than three dollars worth of fun taking all these pins out, processing these nice chips. You know, these these some of these chips can even be sold if you could be bothered, but uh, you have to remove them carefully and desolder them. And so, but yeah, and you got it uh, good good quality MLCCs, um, crystal oscillators, gold ones. You know, there's there's lots lots of good stuff on servers. So, so here's another variation of a, that that same one that we did with all these uh, gold gold pins, and this one had the. It's a bit like this, where it's just got all these. You got, you know, you got plugs here, one CPU, and these are all RAM slots all around. So on this one, this one only had six RAM slots, but this is how I, so I, what I do, so this is what it looks like, um, ready to go. And so I've taken out the plugs, and so now all I have to do is put a heat gun over here, which I'll show you. I'll be back with, um, with a heat gun and uh, some more stuff to talk about maybe. I'll see you in a bit.